Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to English Park in Christchurch for round three action in the ISPS Hunter Men's Premiership as Canterbury United take on Hamilton Wanderers. Two sides with very different early season fortunes. Switches it back in the direction of Taiku. Stora there. Taiku gets his body in good position. Comes inside and gets a return pass. Good play by Hamilton and back defending well was Andrew Stora behind for a corner. Signy, clever. Taiku, what's he got? Derek Taiku, straight at Danny Knight. Well, he has presented a pretty dangerous proposition for the Canterbury United rear guard. They've held out for now, but again, Derek Taiku so good in those tight areas. Say, on his toes, Derek Taiku. Look, he can fight wriggles, wriggle and find himself a, a bit of space. Just a yard or two is all he needs. He's so quick with his feet. He might get it again here with Semi going deep into the area past Stora. Pulls it back, and in it goes. And it's the man who we were just speaking about. Derek Taiku looks as though he's got the final touch. Tommy Sebi getting in behind. Nice pullback. Great run to the byline. That man unmarked there on the spot, Derek Taiku. In from Tang. In from Schwartz. Great header from Tom Schwartz. A captain's goal to draw his side level at 1 1. Tiny getting hold of that one potentially, but Tom Schwartz getting over and above Augustin Contrati. Great header from the captain to put his side back in the game. Yes, six. Go on, go on, Tommy. It's Taiku. Brings it down on his chest beautifully. Here's Derek Taiku. What about the shot? Just wide from Taiku. Well, he brought that down on his chest in really efficient fashion. Oh, given away by Tung to Semi. You don't want to be doing that. Here's Tommy Semi. Well, it looked like danger as soon as the pass found its way to Tommy Semi. And danger there certainly was. Inexplicable from Luke Tung. Deadly from Tommy Semi. Here are Canterbury through Matheson. Messenger is touched tight. Is that a tug on the shirt? Lyle well, Matheson goes down in the area, and the referee says that is a penalty for you, Canterbury United. Brock Messenger had his hands all over Lyle Matheson, and Canterbury United Dragons have the chance straight away to square the ledger again. So it's Coglin against Oliver. Garvin Coglin makes it 2-2. Two -two. Comfortably slotted by the Irishman. Opens his account for the season. We're all square again in Christchurch. Coglin's goal has given him all sorts of confidence. Lidicoat inside, outside, into the area. Sean Lidicoat pushes it past, keeps going. Almost a wonderful piece of skill that led to a goal from Sean Lidicoat. Comba to make an impact the substitute great ball to lamb jordan lamb makes it three two well comba and lamb combine the two substitutes hats off to carl herbert you've got to say and hamilton retake the lead george king trying to twist and turn ball's going to find its way to taguchi who goes to deck to try and get it it's now with mitchell mitchell shoots good save by oliver not sure that's creeping under the crossbar, but Matt Oliver wasn't taking any chances. They've just got to get the ball forward. And they haven't been able to. Matt Conger decides there's no more time to play. Just the extra four minutes. And Canterbury United sink to their knees. Delight on the Hamilton Wanderers bench, though, as they stay perfect. 